Hey guys, this is Mike with The Wandering Wolf, and we're here at Yangshan Quarry. And we are walking into Yangshan Quarry. This quarry is just outside of Nanjing. It's actually in the city, technically. It's about 20, kilom 20 kilometers. It's my American coming up. And uh, this quarry has been used for centuries. The stones that we're gonna see are unfinished stones that were carved, an emperor carved to honor his father, I believe, and never the scale of the project was so massive that once they had cut it, they were never able to remove it because they realized they weren't going to be able to transport it to the locations that they had originally intended, so it was just left in place. This, this whole area that we're going to be walking through up to that point has been built here uh, to kind of entice tourists here. Not a lot of people come here. This is probably one of the least visited sites and also least known about sites. Uh, here in China, at least in this area. I'm excited to be here because this is another example of uh, ancient stoneworking and monument building. And this is an opportunity to see stones the size of things that we can't even do to this day. So I'm excited to see this. Come along. So like I said, this is probably one of the least visited sites. We're here at opening time, which is 8.30, and there's no one here. It kind of feels you know, it's kind of cool, like we got the place all to ourselves. We're skipping ahead. We're gonna try to get out to those massive stones, see if we can get them all to ourselves before anybody else shows up. And you can see why. It's just massive. It's all just solid rock. Everything that we're standing on, the sides of the mountain here and everything. So we go up here and turn left and then we can go around. All right. First stone ahead. So these pits here, these cut out areas, are sections that they would have started cutting out so that they could eventually remove it. They go in about 15, 20 feet and stop there. And it blows my mind that uh, to think that they thought they could move this entire thing. And maybe they could have, I don't know. It was never completed. But moving something like this today would be impossible. And over here you can see those same cut marks and uh, things that we've seen all over the country in uh, different areas, caves, statues, monuments, and stuff like that dating back a thousand years or so. Wow, this is really cool. While smaller, this one's much more clearly defined in terms of the cuts and the, and the shape. And it looks like this one was closer to completion even because the bottom cuts where they would have separated it from its foundation go all the way through. A lot of these ancient stone sites, these notches that you'll see sticking out, you'll see these, a lot of ancient sites all over the world. I've heard a whole lot of different theories, but I, I have to assume they're put in place for helping to move these massive stones. Just to give you an idea how big all this is, I'm six foot two. And uh, this is base here is taller than I am. So these two stones are two pieces of three that were intended to make up this monument that the uh, emperor in the 14th, 15th century made to honor his father. This massive stone here uh, on my left to your right is over 2,700 tons. And it has a cut going all the way down the bottom where it looks like they almost separated it completely. It's still attached on the north end to the mountain, but this would have been one of the largest stones in the world if cut completely. It just was never finished. So this whole thing right here was intended to be cut and separated and transported. And it is massive. It's the size of a building and it's solid stone. And each one of these, as they work their way down, 
was separated from the actual intended piece. And you can see as we walk down this line here, how it was, uh, how they separated it and they were working their way down. I don't, I can't even imagine what, how they plan to move something this large. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us here at Yangshan Quarry. Been looking forward to coming to this place for a long time. Make sure to subscribe and share the video. It really helps us out a lot. Remember, stay safe and have a great week.